Can a theory about the brain as a hologram truly revolutionize our understanding of memory, consciousness, and cognition? This question invites us to embark on a profound exploration into one of the most captivating and potentially transformative theories in neuroscience. Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey through the mind where we will delve deep into Carl Pribram's revolutionary idea that the brain functions akin to a hologram. This exploration is not just a scientific inquiry, but a voyage into the essence of human cognition, challenging our preconceived notions and inviting us to reimagine the very fabric of thought and consciousness. Carl Pribram's journey into the realms of neuroscience was not merely an academic pursuit. It was a quest for understanding the intricacies of the human mind. His work, spanning decades, laid the groundwork for a radical departure from traditional views on brain function. Pribram, fascinated by the possibilities of what the brain could truly be capable of, once mused, if the brain behaves like a hologram, its capabilities are much more vast than we have imagined. His biography reveals not just the story of a scientist, but that of a pioneer who dared to envision a model of cognition that transcends the limitations of physical space and linear processing. To grasp the essence of Prebrum's holographic brain theory, one must first understand the principles of holography. A hologram captures the entire information of a three-dimensional object in a two-dimensional space, with each fragment containing a smaller scale version of the whole image. This principle of part-whole information encoding serves as a metaphor for Prebrum's vision of brain function, where every part of the brain holds the capacity to reflect the comprehensive abilities of cognition and memory. Just as a hologram represents a shift in how we perceive and capture reality, Prebrum's theory proposes a shift in how we understand the architecture of the mind. At the core of Prebrum's theory lies the proposition that the brain's operations resemble those of a hologram, with memories and cognitive processes distributed across the neural network rather than localized in specific areas. This radical perspective suggests a brain that is infinitely more adaptable and robust, capable of maintaining its functions even when parts are damaged or removed. Our memories are not stored in isolated brains, Prebrum argued, but in such a way that each piece of the brain contains all the information stored in the brain, much like a hologram. This concept intersects intriguingly with quantum mechanics, suggesting a profound link between the microcosm of subatomic particles and the macrocosm of brain function. Pribram and physicist David Bohm shared a dialogue that bridged their respective fields, contemplating a universe where the apparent separateness of parts is an illusion, both in the quantum world and within the neural networks of the brain. This synthesis of ideas hints at a reality where the mind's capacity to perceive, remember, and understand is bound by principles that govern the very fabric of the universe. The implications of such a theory for understanding memory and learning are staggering. If the brain functions holographically, the process of memory storage and retrieval might be likened to accessing a piece of the whole image with each neuron or group of neurons capable of reconstructing the entirety of a memory or thought. This model offers a new paradigm for understanding how learning occurs, suggesting that experiences and knowledge are encoded not just in specific locations, but throughout the brain's network in a distributed and interconnected manner. Yet, for all its elegance and potential, Prybrahm's holographic brain theory has not been without its critics. Skeptics argue that the empirical evidence for such a model is lacking and that the complexity of brain function cannot be fully explained by the holographic principle alone. Despite these challenges, 
Prebrahm's work has ignited a field of inquiry that continues to inspire researchers and theorists, pushing the boundaries of neuroscience and cognitive science. Supporting evidence for the holographic model has begun to emerge from various corners of scientific research, including advanced neuroimaging studies and computational modeling, which suggests that the brain's way of processing information shares similarities with holographic storage systems. These findings, while preliminary, offer tantalizing hints that Prebrum's vision may hold more truth than was once believed. The practical applications of understanding the brain as a hologram extend far beyond the theoretical. In fields such as artificial intelligence, the holographic model inspires new approaches to creating machine learning algorithms that mimic the distributed processing of the human brain. In cognitive therapy, this understanding could lead to innovative treatments for memory-related disorders, offering hope to those affected by conditions that disrupt the traditional pathways of memory and cognition. The philosophical and ethical implications of Prebrahm's theory invite us to ponder the nature of reality itself. If our perceptions and memories are holographic, what does this say about the nature of consciousness and the self? These questions challenge us to reconsider our assumptions about the mind, urging a re-evaluation of what it means to be conscious and how we define the self within the vast tapestry of the universe. As we peer into the future, the holographic brain theory stands as a beacon for explorers of the mind, promising new horizons in our understanding of brain function and human cognition. The potential for this theory to revolutionize neuroscience and related fields is immense, offering a framework that could unify disparate areas of research and lead to discoveries that today we can scarcely imagine. In conclusion, Carl Prebram's revolutionary idea that the brain functions as a hologram invites us into a world where the boundaries of thought, memory, and consciousness are expanded beyond traditional confines. This theory not only challenges our current understanding, but also opens the door to a realm of possibilities where the mind is seen as a microcosm of the universe, interconnected and infinite. As we continue to explore this fascinating frontier, let us remain open to the wonder and complexity of the human brain, a marvel of nature that holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the mind and the universe beyond. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining us on this journey through the mind's holographic landscape. Your curiosity and engagement fuel our exploration of the unknown, reminding us that the quest for knowledge is a shared adventure full of challenges, discoveries, and endless possibilities. Until we meet again, keep wondering, keep questioning, and never cease to be amazed by the intricate wonders of the brain and the boundless potential of the human spirit. Goodbye, and thank you for your time and attention.